I do the classic. <laughs> Drive up to the camera and then we'll stop. Act like you've never been here before. Okay. Okay. And then shoot the intro. Just a classic starting sequence. <laughs> What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It is a gorgeous winter day out here. It is me, we got the snowmobile queen Shelby out today. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah, very excited. So today we're doing something a little bit different and uh, we're gonna be going lake to lake to lake. Northern Wisconsin obviously loaded with a number of different bodies of water. Some similar, some different, and uh, most of them have a decent amount of fish in them. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking the snowmobile trail, risking me hitting as many lakes as possible. We're not gonna get off the sleds and we're probably gonna go about 50 or so miles today, probably like 75 miles, and just go lake to lake to lake to lake on the snowmobile trail. Um, so hopefully it's gonna be exciting. The goal is to catch one fish at least out of each lake, quick in and out. Some of these lakes I've fished before, some of them I've never been on before in my life. We've kind of vaguely plotted this out, but we don't really have a real plan per usual on the Tom Bowley YouTube fishing channel. But uh, we're on lake number one right now. It's about 7.30, 7.45 in the morning. We're gonna get to drilling some holes and hopefully catch our first fish of the day and then on to the next lake. What's your prediction, Shelby? Are we gonna strike out on any lakes? Or... Oh, we're definitely gonna strike out on some lakes. I don't think so. I think we're gonna catch okay. a fish on every lake we stop on. Well, okay, if we're talking, we might catch like a two inch perch, but it's, a it's fish, still dude. a fish, it's I a guess. Fish. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun day. Shelby's excited, I'm excited. It should be a fun day in the Northwoods. Let's get it going on. All right, lake number one. This is either gonna be smallmouth or walleye territory. And uh, Shelby, this is gonna be your graph for the day. And I am gonna be drilling lots of holes. And Shelby is gonna be fishing behind me as I go in hopes that we can kind of pop fish off relatively quickly. So, you know, most of the time what happens is I drill the holes and then Shelby stands around and does nothing. Until, okay. until I get the holes drilled. Here you go. But we're on kind of like a, I've fished here a bunch of times. This is one lake I've been on a ton. And uh, we're kind of on like a 20 foot hump that is normally loaded with some kind of fish. But we'll see. Oh yeah, I gotta take the blade cover off probably, huh? Oh my gosh, I just got whacked and missed him. Yeah. It was just like a thunk and then gone. Hooked up. I think I'm filming. And my eye holes are just freaking iced kind of up. Take your time at the hole. Anything. Oh, oh it's a guy, nice dude. one. We did it. Oh, no. We did it. Lake number one. Fish <laughs> one down. Good work, baby. Thank you. Yeah, I want to put a. Uh, I want to grab a hold of him. He's just feisty. He gave him. Yeah, shooting up. Need to Acme Google Eye Tungsten Jig. You can keep your gloves on. Good work, babe. There you go. Lake number one, fish one. Yay. Nice football. Awesome. Objective reach. Oh, God. Oh, God. There you go. I don't know if we'll be able to turn around. Oh, there he goes. Got it. Good work, lake number one. It is kind of cold out today. Single digits out now, but it's supposed to warm up into the teens today, so. Awesome. Let's pack it up. On to the next one. What do you think? Lake number two. How's your, you got some good snowmobile here going. I'm sure I do. All right, lake number two. This is probably, hopefully gonna be a walleye maybe here. But we'll see. I don't wanna waste a ton of time like trying to catch a walleye just because I wanna catch a walleye. Um, but uh, we'll see what's going on. I gotta punch some holes. Deep rock hump here. 
generally a good type of good winter spot. A lot of times these fish will kind of set up all these little shallow or early ice and progressively move deeper as the season goes on. So we'll see what's going on. Real small spots, so we'll know right away if there's fish here. Oh, I got one all over me, dude. Two. I'm gonna get one of them. Oh my gosh, come on. Got him, babe? Were you recording? I don't know. No. All right, Shelby's hooked up. Oh, that's too heavy, babe. It seems like a good fish. S slow and steady with that rod. Okay. It's a real stiff rod. All right, well, lake number two. Looks like a good one, babe. Yeah. Shelby had on a... Uh, Man, dude. A spoon and a minnow head. Yeah, she had on a, a tungsten like a, a tungsten cast master, one of my absolute new favorites here. Seems like a decent fish, baby. Yeah, babe. He's gotta be right here. Oh dude, oh, big smallie. Right Look at that. <laughs> We're on the bass train. There's that little spoon right there. That tungsten one's just been great out in deeper water. And man, good work. Nice. You're the bass queen. I don't want to get take my gloves off this yeah, time. Yeah, it's fine. Talk to me, talk oh, me through it. Oh, wow, what a beautiful one. So this is our first time like actually snowmobiling. We're snowmobiling from lake to lake to lake. Catching and fish we, as we go. Yeah, it's a lot of fun so far. Beautiful fish. Let's get them back onto the next one. We probably spent 20 minutes on this lake and uh, we're making good time. <laughs> All right, lake number three. We probably drove about, I don't know, 10 miles, would you say? Yeah, your face cold. Is your face cold? Yeah, I can't feel it. I can't even <laughs> We might need some better helmets, but look who we ran into out here, Cody. Guys. And he says, boom. He says the bite might be good. Yeah. He's even got a graph full of fish right now. So we're gonna stop quick. I don't think this is gonna take too long, but we're switching gears. We're actually gonna go to, uh, Panfish now. We're hoping to catch our first couple of crappies of the day, and I'm still actually looking to catch my first fish of the day, but um, let's get it going on. We're gonna bust some ultralights out and hopefully jig some crappies quick. All right, I am gonna be going with, well, we got tangles going on. I'm gonna be going with the same crappie bait, which I've been fishing a ton with a ton of success. The Acme Tungsten Cast Master. We're going with like a little purple, and these things are just, have just been absolutely crushing crappies for me this season. Just a real small profile. Don't even need bait on there. And uh, let's get it going. Hooked up. Oh, Shelby's on. Can you get that out of there, Cody? I oh. stole Cody's hole. Nice Look. one. Look at that. Little crop dog there. That was fast. Yeah, that was our fastest lake catch yet. Thanks to Cody already drilling the hole. Yep, thanks Cody. Finding the fish for us. Hooked up. Fish on. These ones are just fighting Crappy like number crazy. Two. Oh, oh, nice one. All right, well, this has been a quick little go at it. Oh, we got a flag. Got out here. Yeah, we got a flag. Not long ago, and uh, boom, catching crappies. They're loaded up right here. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh, fish. Oh, Cody's going to help me out. Look at that. Team effort. My first yeah. fish of the day today. Check that bait out, boys. Crappie. Mm, perfect hook size. I got Cody hooked on the tungsten cast masters. There we go. I actually caught a fish. Since it's happened so fast, I'm going to drop and maybe catch one more here quick. Oh, there we go. Hooked up. Another crop dog on here. What do we got? What do we got? Ooh, nice one. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, Shelby. This is actually my second fish, believe it or not. Who's winning? Me? Uh, Shelby's winning by a lot so far. Nice bass. 
There we go. Going back. Mission success. They don't like going back down four inch rolls. All right, lake number, uh, I think four now. I've never been to this lake in my whole life. It's a pretty small lake. We're having crazy GoPro issues. So I think Shelby has the only GoPro left, but um, small little pothole lake, middle of nowhere, and uh, like 15 foot basin. So we're just gonna kind of drill out like the only real point in this lake. And hopefully there'll at least be some kind of fish here. We'll probably go with the small stuff just so we can try to catch like a bluegill or a crappie or perch. Who knows what, something like that. I don't really want to spend a ton of time here. So we're just gonna kind of drill a whole bunch of holes. I'm gonna have Shelby fish through them behind me. We'll see what happens. Right away? Oh dude, this feels Is the camera going? Oh my gosh, dude. This has to be a pike. There is. That is unbelievable. So we just got out here. I gotta flip this lens around. I was drilling a big line of holes. Can you even see me? Shelby started fishing in the first hole. Oh yes. Dude, is this a pike? Dude, I'm not even getting any line. Okay, now I am. Crazy, this is the f f never been here before. This is crazy, dude. It's gotta be a pike. If he comes up all froggy, is your drag loose enough? Yeah, it's really loose. Oh, my hands, oh God. It is kind of crazy though. We've never been here before. I punched probably about 10 holes. This is the first hole, obviously. Oh, Shelf starts a huge oh, bass. Oh my oh. God, dude, this is the biggest large hole that I've ever caught. Oh my gosh, let me Holy grab the camera off the thing. Crap, dude. Oh, that was a quick, that was a quick go at it. Hold dude, that thing up. This thing is huge. Are your hands cold? Freezing. It's a big old bucket mouth. Biggest large mouth I have ever caught. Little. Look at that tiny Google little like jig. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting this. Look Un at that mouth. It's just crazy how lucky that is. I mean, you dropped down and did you mark anything else? I had a few marks, but I was assuming they were gonna be like perch or something. Wow, that's amazing. Nice. Dude, this thing is. Well, we've literally been here for less than 10 minutes. We'll take a quick picture. All right, let's let this big guy go. Look at that. There you go. Literally first hole on the new lake. Oh my God, that is awesome. <laughs> let's go yeah. get some more. <laughs> All right. Oh my God, oh we just turned the camera God. off. Shelby's hooked up again. Holy crap, I need to get this glove off. It's effing with me. <laughs> it's something else big, what are the odds of this? We've been here for like five minutes. I'm on the mother load, clearly. It's gotta be another big bass. It's bat, gotta be it? another bass. Oh, it is, dude. Oh, nice, not as big. <laughs> it got right. That's crazy though, dude. We've been here oh for just God. no time and Shelfster's just clocking the greenies through the ice. I'm into it. Look at that guy. I mean, that's not really a bad one, honestly. But just nowhere near the size of that first just absolute tank. But hey, we'll take it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna stick down there. I'm gonna let him go. Yep. All right, guys. Well, I came over to the hole, to the area Shelby was fishing, and right away, whoa! Fish on, except I upsized and went to kind of a jigging spoon. And look at this, Shelbster. You got a nice one? We got, we got a largemouth bass lake. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got a new place to come fish and film videos. Oh my God, yes. Little Northwoods Largemouth Lake. And like many good Largemouth Lakes, it's a couple hundred acres and uh, relatively shallow and just like timber all over. Get a shot of this like timbery stuff. Hopefully you can here. see it. I don't know but if yeah, you can. Yeah, lots of like wood and bogs all over the place and just a ton of Largemouth. I mean, we have not been here for very long at all. Let's let that guy go. That one bit a rattle master. A little bit bigger bait. There it goes. Man, those are some quality fish for up here. Yeah, they are. Most larger ones lakes, it's like a whole bunch of tiny pounders. All right, well, we're packing up, moving on. Caught three big largemouth, lost another one. But after further investigation, like I said, we kind of set up on the only point in the lake, really. 
And uh, this is the first hole I drilled. This was about 10 feet with no weeds. The next hole I drilled where I cut a bass was about right here, which was nine feet with no weeds. And then we came to this hole right here, which I drilled, which is solid weeds and then solid weeds in about nine, 10 feet of water. So we were set up literally right on that weed edge. That's, you know, most time you'd have to drill a lot of holes to find that. We just happened to luck into it and Shelbster ended up popping those couple of large mouths right off the bat. So packing up, onward we go. It's about noon right now and uh, somehow this day is just coming together. All right, guys, hole number four here. Uh, the flasher, yeah, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this flasher, but it's about 14, or it's about uh, 30 feet deep, and there's a ton of fish sitting at about 26. Oh my gosh, Shelby's hooked up. What is it? It's not very big. It's not big, a little crop dog, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, Shelby, we did it. We did it. Choked it too. It's not too bad. I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty tiny, but for not being on the lake for more than 10 minutes, we've caught a crappie. And there's actually a bunch down there. I'll show you guys on the screen here. Except now they're gone, of course. Oh, there's a few down there. You can see we're in one of these isolated holes. Here's the fish coming through right here. And if you look out around me, everything's like 10 to 12 feet deep. And then you have these little isolated holes that are coming off like some of these points like this. And anytime you get kind of a main lake point and then a really deep hole off it, lots of shallow water around, generally a good sign that if there is crap dogs in the lake, they're gonna be there. Got him. Oh, oh, yes. We're on the crop dog train out here. This one might be nicer. You think so? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of these smaller lakes, you know, they just don't have big fish in them. We kind of, I think we kind of got lucky with our largemouth fiasco on the last lake. This lake, my guess is, is just loaded with fish that look just like that six inch crappies. But hey, we're catching them pretty much one after another right now. And the goal has been achieved. Yeah. All right, well, caught two crappies out of this little lake show upstairs. Good work, good work, good work. Always kill. And then we got checked by the conservation officers real quick, but uh, passed with flying colors. Passed with flying colors, and now we are off to another lake. I don't even know what lake we're on right now, um, but yeah, we're off. It looks like we probably got about five to five, six, seven miles to the next lake, and uh, we'll see you when we get there. Made it. This is some untouched lake out here. Yep. A lot of snow. How was the ride? Great. It was it was great? Beautiful. Nice. All right, well, this lake uh, never fished it through the ice, but it's all super, super shallow, and there's one 30 foot hole. And I know this lake's clear, so it's probably got a weed edge somewhere. So we're going to try to situate ourselves. Somewhere near the deep water, but right on that weed edge. So we could probably catch a crappie, a perch, a pike, a largemouth, a walleye. Who knows what, right? Yeah, sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get to drilling. Oh my gosh, look at this right away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, first drop. What is it? It just came flying in. Oh, crappie, Shelbster, immediately I caught one. Immediately. Shelby, I've caught so many fish today. Yeah, okay. She's like, yeah, okay. Look at that though, first drop. <laughs> little gold tungsten jig, little plastic on there right in the weeds. Let's let that guy go. Man, is that crazy or what? I don't know if we've just been like getting lucky all day long or but everything's just been like immediately, it seems like we have caught a fish. All right, drop number two. Actually, drop number three. Shelby got a little crappie too. We're on the same pattern. 
the trick was finding the weeds. I probably drilled like 30 holes out here. I think we finally got in the weeds. And now look at this. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, slack line. Oh, fish on. And I'll bet it is a small crappie. Actually, he's getting there. He's getting there. There might be a few grown ones in this lake, but you could probably keep that one if you wanted to. But watch this. Every other hole I drilled was in like 20 feet of water, right? And uh, we're up here in 13 right now. And this must be right where this weed edge starts. And a lot of these clear systems, they love sitting in those weed edges, right? So I'm about eight feet down right now, 10 feet. Just gonna hammer this thing in place, ready? Da, 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 da. Man fish on. <laughs> over and over and over. You could probably sit here and do this until your hands got too cold to do it anymore if you wanted to. Oh yeah, right there. Hooked up, fish on. Doesn't feel too bad. Shelfster, look at that. You wanna come fish over here? Good, cause I wasn't gonna let you. There we go. Pretty little guys. Clear water always makes some pretty looking crappies. These aren't the thickest ones or the longest ones we ever caught, but for one after another, we'll take it. Here comes the shelfster. Look at her just rip roaring around. Well, that is it with this lake. We smoked a whole bunch of crappies right away. Shelby caught some. I caught the most crappies here though, Shelby, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're kind of, we got one more lake in mind, I think. We're going to kind of backtrack. We got to start. We are basically have gone very far north. Now we got to loop back south to where the truck is on the first lake, which is kind of the only bad part about a trip like this. But we got a little bit of a ride. This will probably be one of the longer rides of the day. And uh, we'll see you when we see you, I guess. Where are the dogs? Puppies. Oh, Surly. Oh, Surly. Oh, Surly, there you are. Let's get our other little puppy out. Stella. Oh, you've been so good, hopefully, in there. Outside. Oh, well, no, we did not end up fishing another lake, but that's all right. It was a phenomenal day. Definitely a very cool trip to do. Something we'll definitely have to do a whole bunch more. Get on the snowmobile. We have a ton of trails in my neck of the woods and just a ton of lakes that these trails go across. So what a cool way to spend a day going lake to lake to lake, getting lost in the woods and uh, really accessing a lot of stuff that probably not a lot of people even try to get into because um, you pretty much have to snowmobile into them. And uh, yeah, it was just super cool. And it seemed like the day somehow naturally just worked out. You know, a lot of times you get a new body of water takes you forever to fine fish. It just never really happened like that for us. Um, a lot of those little pothole back in the woods lakes fish very similar, right? Um, you either find the only one piece of structure in the lake, whether it's a big point or some kind of hump in the middle, or if it's all like 10 feet deep, you look for that 25 foot hole and there's probably gonna be crappies or bluegill suspended over that water. So very cool way to spend a day, caught a bunch of fish. The uh, largemouth were definitely the kicker of the day. Super cool, um, just that that lucked into it. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It was just a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not yet, please subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned for more content because we got a ton of it coming and on the way and some cool trips coming in the near future here on the ice. So I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for more.